A job is a job. And while I have no intention of taking it up with the warden, I still have reservations about what we do here. After all, we are still nominally employees of the Crown. Getting paid to inflict pain on others? Are we no different from common ruffians? Not really, no. July... 6th, July, 1716. Torturing people has become a daily routine. There is no shortage of tools here. Whips, chains, iron maidens, Spanish boots, cages, spiders. Even some I had never seen or heard before coming here. I must admit I am impressed by the ingenuity of the human mind and the ways it can create such a myriad of ways to inflict pain upon another living being. But which is worse, those who think of such devices or those who use them? Honestly, I would say those who use them. All those we torture beg us to kill them, but we instead keep them alive as they may suffer more. There is no rest for them. Not now, not ever. August 14th, August 1716. That's quite a jump. Received a letter from Mum today. She says my brother is waiting to go to some fancy school in the East and needs money. Why would he want to go to such a place as beyond me? Imagine, a university graduate in our family. I wonder what Pa would think. I know she gets some money from my sister's family, but I'm sure she doesn't always want to be asking for handouts from her daughter. I want to help. I want to do as much as I can for my family. This is a very long diary, dear... Nah. 31st August, 1716. The mad woman in solitary confinement has died. If there is such a thing as fate, she must have been born under an unlucky star. She was a merchant's daughter whose hand had been promised to the heir of a wealthy family, but he had a change of heart and abandoned her. He eventually married a nobleman's daughter and was adopted into the family, which has no heir. She was brought here to keep her out of the public eye. She kept the wedding dress she never got to wear until the day she died. I wonder, who is more insane, her or us? Probably you, because she didn't do anything wrong, and that was probably the mummy that I just offed in the closet. Okay. 26 September, 1716. A strange rumor is making its rounds amongst the prisoners. The number of people who say they have seen the sign from God in the night sky is growing. None of the other guards believe there is such a thing, but such rumors are often the sign of trouble. I hope nothing happens. 3rd of October, 1716. Torture, pain, and death. These fill the days of all who live here. I have come to envy those who quit living. Dear God, have mercy on my soul. I did not come here to become an executioner. I have pleaded with the warrant to have pity, at least on some of those suffering from illness, but he turned a deaf ear to my pleas. To my plea? There's not supposed to be an E there. <clears throat> In the end, there are about two things people care about. Power and money. They who have it, use it. They who do not, only suffer. 3rd of, 13th of October, 1716. I feel as if I'm losing my mind. I can no longer bear the screams of those trapped here. Could I help them, I would. But I cannot. I do not wish to share their confinement a moment longer. Were it my choice, I would quit this place at once. My family looks to me for support. Also, I cannot Lord Webster, who found me this job down. I must repay his confidence in me. The other guards say that I will grow used to it soon enough, that I should not let myself be affected by trivialities. Trivialities. They cannot hear the screams. I understand now. They are as mad as any of the prisoners. That, then, is my fate. I, too, shall end up mad just like them. Oh, my God, this, oh, this diary is so long. 29th of October, 1716. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. What is it? What? To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into his house and leaned on his and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it. Book of Amos, chapter 5. Okay? 1st of November, 1716. I am writing this after having been awakened by gunshots in the middle of the night. There are screams of joy and anger throughout the building. We are being attacked by an armed band. Apparently, the sign of God the prisoners had been discussing was actually a signal from people outside the prison plotting at to aid their incarcerated friends. The free prisoners are going mad, killing the guards and other staff. Their positions reverse. They flee for their lives but are hunted down, beaten, and killed, even burned alive. I find a strange satisfaction in watching them. They who were so drunk on power and wealth, dying like insects at the hands of those they thought they were masters of. The mob is sure to make its way here in time. The time of hour. 
my judgment is upon us. Do not grieve for me, dear sister. I will welcome them with open arms, as a fellow sufferer and sinner. Even now I hear footsteps. They are just outside my door. They... And then he gets killed. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that was for. Probably for something. Fuck! So much fighting. It's a puppy! Hi, puppy! How are you? Oh, you're so cute! I'm gonna hit you with some magic. Magic! Slice! Oh, poor puppy! I'm sorry! The game told me to hit you. I didn't want to hit you. Oh god, that was a lot of talking. I'm gonna have to find a save point so I can take a break. Okay, hmm. Kadoka. Do your thing. <laughs> I like that spell. This is also gonna test my theory to see if uh, all of my health revives when I go into one of those special holy watery rooms. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so we want lots more of that on him. Have you surpassed Edward? Yep, Edward's still level five because he didn't get any XP from that boss fight. <laughs> oh dear. Nope. Not gonna save in here. Down the rope. And through the door. Priest quarters. Obviously. Shining the sacred light appears to be purified by holy water. So if these do we yield me up to full, then I can use areas like this for grinding. Probably off screen because you guys probably just don't want to watch me grind. Um, am I healed? I am indeed healed. I was correct. Okay, so we are going to stop this for now. I am Miss Scarlet T Tanager, and I will see you later. All right then. Hey everyone, I'm back with Let's Play Kadelka. When we last left off, I was lower leveled. But as you can see, I've done a little bit of grinding. Just a bit, not too much. I also got my first armor. Now, in this game, you have some secret items you can get depending on how many items you have in your inventory when you save a game at certain points. Like, you have to have either 10, 21, 32, or 43 items. And that's not, like, if you have, if you have 70 pistol rounds, it only counts as one. Because you only have one kind of pistol round. Um, and you save your game at either 1 hour, 11 minutes, and 11 seconds, 2 hours, 22 minutes, and 22 seconds, etc, etc. And you can get special items. Like this. It doesn't do much, but it is the first item armor that you get in the game. And outside of random armor, random, blah, 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 random creature drops, you're not going to get any uh, armor this entire game. Anyway, door. Thing. Hi, Kadoka. Did you find anything? No, nothing, but... <laughs> Dumbasses. Who's that? Somebody trapped us? Ooh, no. Kudeka. What? That was all I had left in disc one? What? <laughs> All right then, I'll be right back as soon as I've switched the discs. Alrighty then. Looks like disc one is only about two hours long. I'd forgotten about that. This game is actually has four discs to it, yet is pretty short. But anyway, things? Oh. 
I will take those pistol rounds that I was just guessing were there. Looks like there's something against this wall. No? Okay. What, what about here? Anything? Anything? Nothing? Balls. Here's where I came from. Apparently there's a fight. So we'll get to do that too. Dear sir, you seem to have gotten into a horrific window accident. Should probably get that looked at. Sadly, Edward's fuck off axe is gone and we have a knife at the moment because it broke. <laughs> but it's okay, Kid Elka's attacking is pretty badass. Oh dear! Don't stick your glass in me! It's not very nice. Go, 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 go! <laughs> the damage that attack does will never not be sexy. Are you kidding, Edward? You just poked her with this blade. It was Kadelka who killed the thing. Alright, anything over here? Anything at all? Nope. What about where we fell? I see a thing. Is it nothing? It's nothing. Okay. There's gotta be something on this wall. What am I missing? Face! Face into everything! Or more fighting, I can do that too. Alright, Edward. Move your ass. You need to protect your love interest who is, who is right behind you. You don't protect her who the hell else will. So pity Edward's not very nice. way to get out of here. And there's gotta be a key somewhere. Items? 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 More items? No? No? No items? There's gotta be some items right here. There's too many dead bodies for there not to be items. Wait, what was that? You see a pile of corpses. You see a pile of corpses. You see a pile of corpses. Okay. Oh, more items. Antidote? It's probably for poison. Because what else is antidote good for in a video game? Okay, I guess there's no more, no more items over there. <laughs> Don't know where the hell else I'm supposed to go. Hi, Mr. Three Heads. It's been a while since we've seen you. You and your gun. Whoa! How about you don't, jackass? I forgot, Kadelka has a pretty low vitality. Yeah, don't be killing Edward. That's not very nice. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. You're not human, so I guess it's okay for me to murder you. At least you're not human anymore.
Whoa, that's not that is entirely unfair. 